What's up, ninjas? It's Dee here, and today I'm gonna show you how to get PNG photos of your avatar that you can use for thumbnails or to become a PNG VTuber or to use it for reactive images and so on. So the site that I use is called Me10. It's spelled 310, apparently it's pronounced Me10. It's a program that you can download from Steam for free. And this is what it looks like once you open it up. Obviously, you're going to load your avatar in, which is this thing right here and click whichever one you want to load. So we have my avatar loaded. You're going to want to get rid of this background so it's clear. So you go to this set the background. You're going to go to the top, hit custom color and go transparent background for screenshots. So now it's basically clear. And this image right here, which looks like a photo camera, you, that's what you click to take the photo. So now I just took a PNG image of this, which I can use for my reactive images or my thumbnails. Of course, if you want to do a reactive image, you want one with the mouth open so you can mess around with all these free expressions on the top right. And just go ahead and just pick the one you want and take the photo. Now you have your other image for your open mouth reactive image. Another thing I like to use with this is like expressions. So I have a ton of expressions for my avatar which I can use for um, like my, what you call it, my thumbnails for YouTube or my thumbnails for YouTube, which is why they get pretty, yeah, these are pretty extra. So this is how I do my thumbnails. This is how you can do your PNG, whatever, um, your PNG reactive images. It's pretty easy. Now say that you wanna move your avatar. So this button right here says how to operate the scene camera, switch the operation to parallel movement. Parallel movement means you can use your right, whoops, my right mouse, and I can move it around up, down, left, right, blah, blah. The mouse wheel scrolls and zooms, right? So I'm moving. Now, if I want to rotate, cause I want like the butt shot or whatever, you're gonna hit this little arrow downward, use your right mouse, and then you can just move it around. So that's how these buttons work. It's honestly all you really need for to take your photos, zoom in, zoom out, etc. Expressions. Now, if you want something fun, like you want movement in your photo, that's what this is, these motion options. So I just click, look, I just took a photo that I can use for a screenshot. And sometimes they go pretty far down. There's some interesting poses. I don't know why they're here, but they are. <laughs> And yeah, so you just mess around with an expression. Now you have another thumbnail and etc. You move around. Yep, so that's it. Um, I don't know if for whatever reason this does not work and your mouse button is not working, then try reinstalling the software. That means I'm not sure exactly why that happened. Uh, I definitely don't have that issue. Right, like I said, it's these two buttons and then it's your right button. I just have to make sure it's the right, it's your right mouse button, right? And that's it. Zoom is your mouse wheel, right buttons to move, this one's to rotate. And yeah, that, that's it. That's it. I uh, hope that was helpful. <laughs> it's a pretty simple, but I've been asked this question, how to use these two buttons. Uh, yeah. So if you want another tutorial, feel free to comment below and I'll check it out. If not, uh, feel free to like, subscribe if you would, and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. This is such an interesting pose. Okay, bye. Yeah.